Wherever you looked Thursday morning in Vancouver, you were met with students. We love teachers. Teachers are awesome. Looking for a brighter future. Now we're going to be the ones who are changing the world for the future. Focused on the world, but narrowed in on their district. Save our staff! Save our staff! In hoping to help teachers in their classrooms by walking out. We're asking for more funds to help educate our future, to help us better ourselves. Yeah! The walkout formed after the district announced it would slash more than 250 jobs next year as part of 35 million in budget cuts. We want the district to be honest with us about why our teachers are getting cut and why our programs are leaving. This is going to affect the rest of our school lives for the, like everybody here. And students say some English and math teachers already told them they won't return next year. Larger class sizes are in store, too. They're the ones that are being the most affected by these budget cuts. I don't know how we expect to accomplish the mission of education without teachers in the classroom. But this march was no uh, yeah. shock. Yeah, our students uh, let us know that they're uh, frustrated, right? To some. Uh, to, they care about their teachers, so yeah, respect that. Like Jeff Snell, uh, what's up, man? Hey. the superintendent of Vancouver Public Schools. Yeah, he's the evil guy. <laughs> evil? Maybe not so much. Snell, like superintendents across Oregon and Washington, is stuck with tough budget choices. VPS says it's forced to cut 8 to 10 percent of its budget next year and couldn't do so without cutting staffing. 85 percent of that budget goes to staffing. And Snell says the decision is due to a growing gap between salaries and state funding. And while students want what's best for teachers, for our future. some know the district may not be to blame. We are getting budget cuts from the legislative, but we know we can't go all the way up to Olympia and talk about this to them directly, but we can get our voices heard from our neighbors, from our parents. And this protest could make a difference. And I heard this this possibly could help, so that's why we came here. And then we saw the superintendent, we took a photo with him. And maybe yeah. mend some bridges oh, through it's selfies. It's us. Between students and administrators, as both sides call Fun our future. for a brighter future. If this does like 1% of anything, then it's worth it.